Hello everyone, I'm Lisa Nurgaliva, a postdoc at Aalto University in Finland, and on behalf of myself and my co-authors, I'm happy to present our Mixed Methods user study, exploring public views on digital COVID certificates. COVID-19 pandemic affected all of us personally and the world globally on many levels. In response to the rapid spread of the virus, countries all over, all over the world have implemented restrictive measures ranging from hygiene recommendations to business closures and travel bans. One of the strategies to support the pandemic response was to deploy various information systems, such as complementing manual contact tracing with digital contact tracing and as vaccinations became available, implementing COVID certificates and their digital versions. Uh, these certificates are sometimes called vaccination passports or immunity certificates, but essentially they include the proof of vaccination, negative COVID test, or having contracted a disease. In the Republic of Ireland, the population uh, showed high acceptability and uptake rates of the digital contact tracing app, COVID tracker app, and COVID-19 vaccinations. Since the end of July 2021, the Irish COVID tracker app has been modified to allow the uploading of COVID-19 vaccination certificates as a temporary solution towards digital COVID-19 certificates. The Republic of Ireland also had a single national strategy regarding COVID-19, high digitization and generally high level of public support. These factors and the deployment of digital certificates provided a great opportunity uh, to focus on fundamental factors of technology acceptance for this technology and study public views on the integration of co contact tracing data and personal COVID status data. For, so with this motivation for this study, we defined two research questions. What are the public views on the introduction of digital COVID certificates and their acceptability factors? And what are the public views on the implementation of such technology on a more practical level? Well, to answer these research questions uh, we defined for this study, we used a met mixed methods approach combining an online survey with semi-structured interviews. Both studies ran in parallel in July 2021 in Ireland, as we wanted to explore the views on digital COVID certificates both quantitatively and qualitatively in the same period of time. So we conducted a 49-item online national survey among Ireland residents and had a sample of 1,008 complete responses. In addition, we conducted 27 semi-structured interviews online due to COVID. Each interview lasted between 25-30 minutes and was reimbursed with 20 euro Amazon voucher. So what regards the survey sample, it was predominantly female with high prevalence of younger adults. And this is similar to the demographics of the country. Ireland is a quite young population country. Most of the participants had English as their first language. They received or scheduled COVID vaccination. This is also representative of, of the overall national picture in Ireland. And only about 6% ever tested positive for COVID. So half of the respondents in the survey fully or a lot supported the Irish government introducing COVID certificates. Most of them would install them if they would be available in the form of app, and only the third considered it was fair to those who wouldn't have access to such certificates. Potential risks and participants saw were either known, followed by privacy risks, practical concerns, for example, phone battery draining, and security concerns, their data being hacked. What regards statistical analysis, it considered the intention to install a digital certificate uh, as an independent variable. Independent variables were perceived risks of uh, related to COVID certificates, personal COVID experience and fairness of introducing these certificates. So the positive correlation was perhaps uh, expectedly with supporting government uh, for this initiative, positive vaccination views, and possible need of the certificate to access certain activities. Negative correlation was with perceived profiling concerns, privacy concerns. What about the interview sample? So we tried to balance the demographics of the interview sample by prior screening survey. And uh, I think we, we had success in that, let's say uh, more or less. Most of the participants were in good health and received COVID vaccination. Half of them had an education higher than university degree. So qualitative data analysis showed that the acceptability of digital certificates is conditional, and we identified seven distinct conditions for that. For example, having clear opt-out options, accessibility of this technology, or it being a temporary measure. 
contexts of use mattered as well, with some of them being more acceptable, such as travel or indoor settings, while others less acceptable, such as workplace or social interactions. While the survey showed that fairness was a concern, interview participants also expressed that view, but mostly inclu inclined towards collective responsibility view, expressing sympathy towards those who cannot access the certificate, but supporting the idea of introducing them nevertheless. Uh, on more practical level, um, particip participants saw the value of expanding the certificates to include other data or functionality, but still preferred one app, one purpose approach with minimum personal data and accessory. Uh, this, the process of sharing personal information over COVID certificates mainly concerned the characteristics of those who will have access to it, the amount and the type of information shared, and how it is shared, transmission principles, and then perceived security and privacy risks and data protection. Uh, please check our paper for more design implications, which we described there. All right, uh, well, the main outcomes of the study are that trust is everything, and it's an, the acceptability of such crisis response technologies strongly depends on trust towards those who distribute them, develop them, and communicate the, let's say, the, the, um, the importance of accepting it. Such acceptability is also highly conditional and contextual in its nature, and sharing personal information using digital COVID certificates uh, it requires granular control over sharing it for the, for the potential users. Well, thank you very much, and uh, please feel free to reach out. We'll be happy to answer your questions.